Yo, what is going on guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new Locals feature match. Here we are in round two for the week and the second match here in the brand new format in quotes around the words new. Uh, you thought maybe Dragon Link would be less popular. Wrong. They have no Arise Heart to deal with now. Sure, they're without a couple extra chaos spaces, a couple Magnemuts. You think that's going to stop? these dragon addicted freaks absolutely not as as evident by this mirror match that we're gonna check out right now um yeah so we'll see how this works we're gonna see uh safer go ahead and grab black dragon specialman black dragon then linking into striker dragon a card that i think probably should have gotten the axe because link ones and all those free pluses it's kind of it's kind of a good card i don't know but uh, we're going to go ahead and see them on res here. Go ahead and use Bestial Sarnir to banish the white dragon. Say, hey, put it on. You know, have a way to play after that. They do. They have the boot sector. They also have the rocket recharger in hand. We're just going to get Specialman out. Allow them to keep Link climbing here. The Dragoon Knight Romulus. Go ahead and attempt to search out a dragon ravine. I also saw Nibiru in hand. A very popular card of this format. And Dragon Link is a deck that I would say, like, in the past has been able to, like, not necessarily beat Nibiru. It's always gotten hit pretty hard by Nibiru, but it's always been able to at least play through it in some capacity. So we'll see how this kind of works out here. And uh, that Dragon Ravine is going to go ahead and pitch off that, in quotes, dead White Dragon, Wyvern Burster, allowing them to dump Sarnir, which is going to allow them to dump Bistio Lubellion. They're going to summon out Druid Swarm, and then before they go any further... The opposing Dragon Link player is going to drop Nibiru. They both have got Nibiru in their hands, so there's going to be lots of rocks thrown at each other in this match, I imagine. And uh, Sarnir, uh, well, Druusworm will send off the opponent's um, Nibiru, and since their Sarnir was tributed off by their own Nibiru, they'll get to use their Sarnir effect to go ahead and dump a Bistu Lubellion of their own. And uh, that will basically just force them to pass turn. They have Ash and Nib, though, so... You know, uh, they don't have a board to deal with, but they've got some hand traps to kind of deal with. The Safer will get Ash. They do have a quick launch, though, to keep going to be able to quickly launch. And uh, they're not going to bring out Tracer. They're going to bring out Rocket Caliber. And they're going to go ahead and link one here into, I wonder what card? Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon effect here to go ahead and search out for a Boot Sector. A Boot Sector launch. And they're going to activate another quick launch. We are quickly launching yet again. And uh, we're going to see them bring out the Rocket Tracer this time. And we're already on summon. Was the summon four? One was the... Uh... I already forgot. I'm not going to be... Oh, no. It was the, uh, the, the Caliber, Striker Dragon, Tracer. So that was three, four. Now we're on summon four. Um, yeah, I don't know why I can't keep count of that that easily. Uh, they're going to go into Dark Charmer Gloomy, though, and uh, they've got plenty of targets in the opponent's graveyard. They're looking at uh, uh, Rocket Recharger. They're looking at Striker Dragon. They do have some Bestials as well, uh, but they're just going to go ahead and take the Striker Dragon out of the grave. Then they're going to use Saferd Engrave to go ahead and banish itself to add back Bestial Lubellion, and then immediately pitch it from the hand to go ahead and search for a Bestial, and they're going to go ahead and grab a copy of Druusworm. And they're going to go ahead and use Druusworm here. Go ahead and banish the Druusworm in the opponent's graveyard. And they're going to get hit with a Nibiru from the opponent. So rock after rock after rock. And I can see why necessarily they didn't want to go for something like Magnumut, that one of sacred Magnumut at this point. Because once you uh, put Magnumut in play, now it is just dark food for the opponent and free pluses in the end phase for them. And the uh, Druusworm is going to keep it sort of neutral here. Uh, keep the Nibiru off the opponent's field and leave them with essentially no bodies to work with as they go ahead and uh, draw for turn here. And they do have Ravine available. They're going to pitch Nocto Vision and they're going to send the Abza Router. That's going to get them to Tracer. And uh, Tracer can be normal summoned here at the very minimum to go ahead and pop Ravine. And go ahead and summon another rocket. But they don't have Recharger in deck anymore. And I think they're just calculating the stats there of the Nibiru token. To see um, if they are at risk of getting perhaps one shot next turn by the token alone. So you know a normal summon tracer, tracer effect, pop ravine. And we'll see what they summon. They're gonna go ahead and summon out Rocket Caliber. And those are two tuners, I believe, so they can't do any synchroing there. 
Uh, but they're going to go ahead and link two and two dark charmers. So this is again where they, they're probably glad they didn't go ahead and search a magnumut off of that uh, Misty Lobelian because that would have been a pretty free card to grab here. Although I'm not sure it would do so much to help to out the token. Which I don't really think has that big a stat. I think it was literally just Tracer's defense and Druus Worm's defense, if I recall correctly. So, they're taking a minute here to decide what exactly they want to take out of the opponent's graveyard. They've got Striker Dragon, they've got Druus Worm, they've got Sarnir as well. So they're going to take Sarnir and then tribute it off for their own Bestial Lubellion, Bestial Lubellion effect to go ahead and get... Like Brandon regained online here, which is a really, really solid card, especially in a situation like this. And now they're going to go ahead and link off into Iggy Azalea, and they're going to go ahead and send off the token. We'll destroy the token, and then Azalea will have to get sent since they don't have three or more spells in grave. And top deck safer into White Dragon, or Black Dragon, sorry. It's a pretty good draw there, and no cards left in hand for the opposing. Dragon Link player, but they'll. I guess that's all gonna change now as they get to put back and draw. It's a Book of Eclipse, no form of interaction there, and they probably realize that that uh, one Black Dragon can get them pretty far. So they're just gonna admit defeat, and uh, we'll see our Dragon player, Dragon Link player on the right, up one game here. And uh, in game two, the Dragon Link player on the left will lead here. Normal summoning that uh, Metal Dragon, Black Metal Dragon, linking to the Striker, getting Boot Sector, getting Red MD. And now they're going to go ahead and discard Bestial Lubellion to go ahead and attempt to search for a Bestial. And they're going to go ahead and Ash that. Pretty solid Ash, I guess. And then they're going to go ahead and Special Red MD by Banishing Striker, bring back the Black Metal. And then Bestial Lubellion effect, sending off the Red MD to go ahead and Special Summon itself. And then effect of Bestial Lubellion. Wait, just kidding, I lied. Okay, never mind. He was telling the truth all along. We're going to go ahead and get Branded Regain there. And then they're going to unlink off the Black Metal and the Bestial Lebellion into either... Oh, no. Again, we lied. We're going to go ahead and activate Triple Tactics Talent before we go any further. We're going to draw two cards. We're not going to take a look at the opponent's hand. Then you just do Tracer and Bestial Lebellion. Not the best draws there. The Tracer's got to be pretty good. So now that the Dragon Ravine can send other things, is now if we get... At, well, they already have Boot Sector in hand, so they can just summon that from the hand, and that gets them a whole... Um, different set of cards while well, get some like you know the recharger off that level eight synchro play possibly get help them get into Borland, whatever route they decide to go for um so they're going to discard uh the black metal there and then they're going to go ahead and send sarnir that's going to send magnum now they're going to boot sector so as you can see them drawing into that tracer there was uh, nice as they can get magnum into the graveyard and uh, now they're going to go ahead and pop the boot sector with tracer summon out the recharger and then link off the recharger into pisty and then link off the Recharger and the Romulus into the Triple Burst. And Pissy will bring back Magnum, Magnum Effect. And then linking all of that into Borland with that End Phase search there. As they do go to the End Phase. And they're looking at grabbing Phantasme. And they are going to grab Phantasme. I gotta say, that was one really awesome card to see back in the format. Um, as I feel like, you know, with Unchained being in the format. Uh, Dragon Link still being in the format. Um... And now I'm just completely blanking on every deck that Link summons currently. But you get the point. I mean, it's not the worst card, especially since it's searchable in this deck. And maybe I wouldn't recommend it being in a deck that isn't Dragon Link, but it's still cool to see. They're going to summon out Recharger. And they're going to get to use uh, the... Oh my goodness, that was a lot of quick launches. Um, going to use the Recharger, or the Regain, to bring back Magnumut. And uh, then they're just going to go ahead and uh, droplet the Magnumut and the Borland by sending off some quick launches. Because now they've got a whole squadron of rocket monsters on the field. Double, We saw double quick launch game one, and we're seeing it again here in game two. That's a lot of launching very quickly as well. So now they're going to go into the... Uh, forgetting his name already. Striker Dragon, adding Boot Sector Launch. Little mid commentary amnesia there. And we're going to see him link off the Recharger and the Striker Dragon into Dark Charmer. And importantly, the uh, 
we need to look, looking at Dark Charmer there. Importantly, that Magnemite is no longer in the graveyard of the opponent as it was brought out by Regain here, so kind of dodging that bullet, if you will. Magnemite is the hot potato, and you want to uh, keep it off of your opponent's field as much as possible. Let them try to get to their one of however they can. And we're going to see Dark bring out Recharger of all things here. We'll decide. We'll see what they decide to go for with this. The Borland is negated and halved due to drop, which is a card we also might see a little bit more play right now. Because again, Rise Heart is gone. And on the summon of that Pisty, this uh, Phantasme is going to go in here. They're going to get to draw three cards and put back to fixing the hand. White Dragon Phantasme and the Chaos Emperor Pendulum. So I imagine they'll be putting back the Phantasme. And definitely don't want a second Phantasme. And they're putting back Bistia Lubellion in hand, it looks like. And now they have that targeting protection, too, by discarding. If their opponent activates a, I think, monster effect that targets, you can discard, negate, and destroy. And on resolution, uh, we're going to drop the rock here. And there goes the entire board. That is three Nibiru's. This match alone, and we're only in game two. And now it's time to calcul calculate the stats. Phantasme, Borland, Nibiru. Well, Borland, Magnemut, and Phantasme. And then Dark Charmer. And a few, I think two other monsters. Yeah, Tracer and Striker Dragon. Well, Tracer and... Uh, Recharger. So lots, lots of rocks going down here. And uh, we're going to see them pass as they draw into another Bistu Lubellion. They just put it back off Phantasme like they didn't want it in their hand. At least over everything else they had. And they just just drew into it because, yeah, they're just nice with it. Now they go ahead and summon out the Druus Worm, Banishing Pisty, linking off Nibiru and the Druus Worm into Dark. Signing off the token. Playing it no problem. It says Dark Wars and it is Nibiru Wars this match. They're going to take the opponent's Pisty and then they go and special summon White Dragon by banishing Phantasme from the graveyard and then linking off the Dark and the White Dragon into. I think maybe they just realized that their triple burst is gone. And they're going to go ahead and scale out the Chaos Emperor. Special summon it by banishing light in the dark, then getting rid of triple burst and get rid of the uh, Nibiru and then regain. They'll put it back and draw one. So now they have triple burst. There we go. Infinite triple bursts. And then they're going to go ahead and get to search the black dragon off the white dragon. Then Pisty's going to go ahead and bring back Striker Dragon. And Striker Dragon's going to unpop the Pisty, and yeah, they're just going to go ahead and admit defeat there. And we're into a game three. Good old game three situation, Dragon Link mirror match. And uh, we're going to see the Dragon Link player on the right go first. And... Pass. Yep, that is unfortunate. I played against that Dragon, play Dragon Link player on the right today, actually, as I'm recording this, and they passed uh, game one. It's unfortunate. It happens, though. It happens. Um, so we're going to see them normal summon the caliber, link it into Striker, search out Boot Sector, activate uh, Sarnir, and the opponent is going to quickly chain their Magnumut, their one of Magnumut, banishing their Rock Caliber, so their Sarnir will not be able to summon. They'll get that effect and phase search to hopefully help them be playable if they live the turn, but they've got their one of Magnumut as well. And a Kaiju comes down over the opponents. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, both players hard drawing their one of Magnumut. I guess you can't be uh, too upset about that. It's only one person drew it and the other didn't. They both happen to draw it here, discarding Sarnir and sending Abzer Router, sending Bestia Lubellion, summoning out a Druus from here by banishing the Abzer Router. And then the Lubellion summoning out by sending off the Druus Worm. Druus Worm effect sending off the Kaiju and then getting regained from the deck. And then Special Ming Black Dragon by banishing the Kaiju going into Pisty. And then they'll get that effect of Black Dragon. Grab White Dragon. Put back to the bottom and draw off of the regained. And then go into Triple Burst. Search. 
and then Pisty bring back Striker and Striker effect. I think they might be using its effect. Well, they're just gonna go ahead and normal summon here, actually. The uh, Tracer and then. Oh. See what exactly they wanna go for? They're just gonna go ahead and use Tracer Pop itself to bring out Recharger. And then they're just going to go ahead and, yeah, I, I'm very confused at what's happening there at the end, but they're just going to admit defeat. Um, yeah, fair enough. So we'll see Dragon Link on the left there. Ash and the Dragon Link Master, best Philly D on the right. Interesting match. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and sub. And last but not least, a big shout-out goes to our current Divine Level channel members who are Misfit, HGA, Cyber, Cadillacs, Pony Stark, and Green. Thank you guys so much, as always, for extremely kind and very, very generous support of the channel.